Hi, I'm Dewey Hollister, the Executive Director of the St. George Village Botanical Garden, the Botanical Garden of the Virgin Islands. And today I'd like to talk about a lot of different terms you may have heard. You may have heard of strangler fig, a ficus, a banyan tree. I want to show you what we're talking about when we talk about that. This tree behind me is all of those things. A strangler fig and a banyan are the same thing. They are a tree that begins life high up on another tree, lives apart from the soil for many years until it can drop a little root all the way to the ground. Maybe that's 100 feet. When the root gets to the ground, all of a sudden that little seedling explodes branches out over the top of the crown of the tree it's in and shoots roots all along the trunk of the tree it's sitting on and down into the ground. And eventually, those roots fuse together and form a trunk that strangles the th tree that it's on, and that's why you hear strangler fig. Eventually, that tree rots, dies, feeds the tree that just killed it, and takes its place in its food supply in the forest. So you're really talking about a tree-eating tree. So when you hear strangler fig, or you hear banyan, uh, and in Spanish they, they call it a killer tree, it is literally a tree-eating tree, the tiger of the plant world, if you will. But this tree I'm under, this is Ficus benjamina, the common house plant, the common house fig. It's in every office building in America, and it's very common. You've seen these leaves before uh, on all of your house plants. The old name for the plant is the Java fig, because this tree is from Java. Strangler figs occur all throughout the tropical world in the Americas, in, in Southeast Asia, in Africa, and they all have these amazing roots that you see here that eventually fuse. And you can see how these roots are fusing themselves together. Have you ever been in a store and seen a fig tree with a braided stem? Well, that's done by people, but the reason that it won't kill itself is because when it touches itself, it dissolves the bark between and it hooks up its circulatory system so it will not strangle itself something you need if you're going to be a strangler fig. So at any rate, so when you hear all those terms, you know what you're talking about, one of the miracles of the plant world. Well, I really appreciate you being with me today, and I look forward to seeing you next time.